Welcome to Cherry Blossom Yoga. I'm Robin Dinerman. This is a half hour Hatha Yoga class for beginning and continuing students. Please join me. Today we're going to start with two different versions of the Tadasana, the basic standing pose. The first one we'll do is to relieve tension throughout your whole body. And the second will be the traditional standing mountain pose. So if you wish to do this in a chair, that's fine. Um, sit toward the front of the chair so that you can straighten your back with shoulders above hips. And if you're standing, shoulders above hips, above knees, above ankles. For the first version of Tadasana, we're going to create a lot of tension from the soles of the feet all the way up your spine to the top of your head, including your arms and hands. So for the hands, flatten your hands, pressing the fingers together, and then bring the hands turned inward alongside of you. And beginning with the soles of your feet, press down as if you could push the earth away and then tighten up your thigh muscles. Begin to tighten your belly. Tuck the tailbone under, and now visualize your spine lengthening, pushing the floor away, lengthening, the neck gets longer, crown of your head reaches up to the ceiling, and then your fingers, which are pressed together, are going to press downward, point downward. The shoulders move down, so all of your body is in an upward movement and the arms are going down including the shoulders lower back tucked under take a breath in hold it create a little more tension and then exhale release shake your hands shake your feet feel the movement of energy that's a good waking up tadasana the other Tadasana, of course, traditionally is the mountain pose. Feet hip distance apart, still pressing down into the earth, reaching up into the sky. Arms relaxed alongside of your body, palms turned in. And bring the attention to the tip of your nose, breathing in deeply, visualizing a center line going through your body down to your navel, or even down to the tip of your tailbone. Exhaling, contracting the be belly muscles. The air travels up your center line and leaves your body through either your mouth or your nose. Breathing in through the nose. Standing tall, feeling the chest expand with air. Feel how it, the chest lifts up. Create space through the whole abdominal area. And then exhale. And let's start warm, warming up the ankles and the knees. So my feet aren't too far apart, just a bit with the toes turned outward. I'm going to cautiously bend each knee over the foot, no farther than that. So you want to notice now how your knees feel, if there's some tenderness or you hear some cricking or clicking in your knees. Use your own good judgment as to how much you're going to do and how far you're going to bend. Then separate the feet a little bit farther. Very slow, joint warmer. You can get your knee a little bit deeper now that the feet are far apart. And then even farther. And you can have the toes forward if you want. And slowly hinge forward at the hips. Let the arms hang, let the head hang. Coming down, I can touch my fingers to the floor. Maybe you're not there yet. That's okay. Just do what you can. And then I'm using my hands to take a little weight off of my legs. And I'm going from side to side, bending the knee on each side. So I'm beginning to feel some inner thigh stretching. 
And as my lower back muscles soften and stretch, I can lift the sit bones higher. And if I really let go of my head, I can feel my face and lips become heavy. Now lifting the sit bones up, looking through between the legs. Now I'm going to lift the shoulders up a bit and walk hand over hand to the, this is my left leg. Gently lean over it. And then arm over arm to the other leg. And continuing this movement of bending the knee above the ankle, I'm going to separate the feet a little bit more. And this is my right leg that's bent, knee above the ankle, tucking the right arm inside. The forearms are parallel to each other. I can let my head hang. Now this knee above the ankle gives me the foundation and I can press the back of my shoulder into the leg. I don't need the hand. And I can wrap the left arm around, reaching for my hip, or I can put my hand on the foot, and then turn my head, looking over the left shoulder as I pull it back. So do what you're able to do. You'll feel this strengthening, your, the muscles around your knees. You'll get a stretch in the inner thigh. And then the hamstrings and the quadriceps are working. Come back to center. And then come to the other side. So I tuck the arm in. The hand is parallel. The arms are parallel at first. I test the knee. Feel it's in a strong position. Wrap the arm behind pull the shoulder back, and I test to see if I can balance without using the hand. If you need the hand, that's fine. Just turn your head, pull the shoulder back, keep reaching for your left hip. Your right leg is almost straightened. You know I like to keep a little softness in the knees. And unwrap yourself, come to center, Heel toe in a little bit. Now, lifting the back of your neck, lengthen your spine. Bring the arms out in T posture, right at shoulder height. And unhinge from the hips back to center. Into star. And breathe. Turn one palm up, breathing in, and breathing out a side angle pose. Arm above the ear or the cheek, let the lower arm hang, and inhale back to center, and exhale to the other side. And repeat. And once more on each side. And back to center, both arms at your sides. Alternately bend and straighten your knees. If you need to, you can release uh, any tension in your feet or ankles, shaking your feet out. And come back to a stance where your feet are apart. I'm going to turn toward one leg, slide down the leg. So this is my left leg, left hand on the leg. I'm going to lift the right arm up. Now I'm turning the rib cage, turning the head, bringing the hand up, looking at the back of my right hand. Then, rather than sinking down onto that foot, I want to lift up, so I'm merely touching. So you're strengthening the muscles right here at the waist. The muscles looking up to the ceiling. Now lift from those muscles on your in-breath. And reach. 
turn to star. And turn toward the other leg. And come down. Completely release over the other leg. So I have right hand to right foot. I'm going to watch the left arm go up, looking for the back of the left hand and lifting up. So I'm just touching with my fingertips. If you need to hold on for balance, hold on above the ankle and lift. Turn to center, flat back again, arms in T position, unfold into star and release. And one more version, which is called Rishi's Posture. This is my right hand inside of the right side. I'm going to follow the seam on my leggings, I'm going to slide down like so. And I'm turning my shoulder away. I'm actually pressing just a little bit here and keeping the hand inside of the ankle, arm a little bit inside of the leg. But I wanna straighten out so that my hip isn't sliding to the side. A Little bit of a difference. Coming up into T. Left hand inside of the left leg, follow the seam down. And then as you turn to the right and look up, your hips are going to swing a little to the right. So try to readjust them. Looking up at the right hand, lifting up. Slowly release, flat back, come up into star, and either heel toe, your feet back together, or step them back together, hands to the heart. Pause and breathe and scan your body. Can you feel your heart beating? Do you feel warmed up? Do you feel taller? You feel a little looser, more awake perhaps? Without judging yourself, simply note what's going on and breathe. We're going to take a short break from Cherry Blossom Yoga and then we'll return, we'll be on the floor and I hope you rejoin us. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Remember that to love America is to love all Americans, because love has no labels. Welcome back to Cherry Blossom Yoga. Come join me on the floor. If you're on your couch or in a chair, that's fine too. Do whatever you're able to do. Use your own good judgment and watch the first time and then replay it again and try it again. So from the floor, I'd like to do some camel variations. So I'm on my knees and if you need to, you can put a cushion under your knees. My ankles are turned outward, the feet are turned in. Now I'd like to start by just testing my quadriceps and seeing how strong I feel. So I put one hand at the lower back, the other hand I'm pressing inside of the palm, then I come backward. Here you can feel the quadriceps engage. I like to firm the buttocks, keeps the tailbone under, shoulders down, and come forward. Another version is arms at shoulder height and coming back. 
and forward and then release. Sometimes the muscles get tight when you do that, so you may want to stretch the legs out. Come back up. I'm going to turn right hand to right heel. Bring the left arm up. Press the hips forward. And then when I feel secure, I turn my face, look up at the back of the left hand, and lift and reach. Now I'm not putting any weight back here on the heel. I'm trying to really reach and touch the sky. Now I watch the hand come down and I like to protect the neck when I'm doing this. So I look down at the heel with my head down. I turn to the front and then I level. So repeating on the other side, left hand to left heel, hips press forward, arm come up, and then I turn, look at the back of the right hand, I'm going to reach and lift and breathe. And then coming down, looking down, Lowering the hand, turning to the front, and back to center. So that way you are um, making sure you're balanced before you turn your head. You feel secure. And when you're coming down, you do it very slowly and with awareness. Now another version, if you'd like to try, I'm taking, if I can find it, my right hand to my left heel, left arm up, and then I look upward and reach. And lift. So it's a little bit more of a twist. And I look down, lower the arm, turn to center, level my chin. And here again, I find the right heel with the left hand, looking up, lifting. And then lower the head and the arm, turn to the front, lower yourself down, and come into what I call egg posture, which many teachers call child. So the arms are draped around the legs. Your forehead might touch the floor, mine doesn't. As you exhale, you allow the back muscles to melt, the lower back muscles to soften, the tailbone to drop. And this is a position for transitioning from seated or standing postures to prone postures. It's also used for meditation and just for resting. Lifting the back of your neck, bring the hands to the floor, unhinge, and turn so that you're seated on the floor. And just for fun, a little bit of balancing. So I'm going to place a hand behind the thigh, just above the knee, and raise the knees upward, aiming the breastbone forward. Elbows stay close to the hips. So my tailbone is free. I'm not sitting on that at all. Then I raise the ankles, the legs are hip distance apart, approximately, toes are pointed up, not necessarily flexed. And into half boat, arms alongside of the legs, chest lifting, tummy tightens, and then lower the legs, come sit up, and pause for a moment. <sighs> and 
And let's come down to the floor if you'd like to continue with some more stretches and postures. So this will be for stretching the hamstrings and also firming up the quadriceps. So my feet are not, my ankles are not exactly under my knees, the feet are forward. And then keeping the right knee at the same height as the left, I'm straightening the right leg. So do about four or five of these. Try to avoid pressing down with your arms so the work is, you feel the tummy muscles working. Bring the foot to the floor. And now the left leg opens and lowers. And then we're going to bring the knee right above the hip and open and close the leg. Taking your time. Can you feel the muscles that are being used? Everything else should be soft. No tension through the jaw or throat. The left foot is completely soft. And then switch to the left leg, knee above the hip, open and close. Bring the foot down, back to the right leg. First, we're going to bring the knee in towards the shoulder, arms around the leg and squeeze it in. You'll feel the right side of the lower back pressing down. And then release a little, open the leg, and walk your hands down toward the ankle bone. I hold on just above the ankle bone, and dropping the elbows in, keeping the leg lined up with the armpit, my hand behind the calf. Now, in this case, my lower back is lifting off the floor just a little. Some people like to lift way up, but I like to press down and pull the leg so I feel a good stretch through the entire back of the leg. And slowly release and bring the foot down. Bring the knee in, left knee this time, squeezing and releasing, opening, walking the hands down and pulling. Then I press through the left side of the lower back. And release. Now another version I like to do is the spider. So I'm going to bring the knee in and then open. So this one is a little bit more of a stretch because your lower back will definitely reach up, lift up. So here you flex the foot. You can hold on above the ankle bone or you can take a finger and wrap it around the big toe which then really causes you to flex the foot. So keeping the elbow moving away. My left hand that goes over the left of the thigh. Now I begin to pull the belly down, lift the head and shoulders up, but don't let your head come forward. Keep the chin in, tucked in, and then reach for a spot way beyond 
the left knee. So if you find your head creeping forward, bring it back into position. You shouldn't feel any neck strain. Then place the head down gently and slowly lower the heel to the floor. And on the other side, opening the leg, flexing the foot, pulling the belly down, keeping the chin tucked in, pull that left elbow back, reach out over the right knee. Oops, my head was slipping forward, so pull the head back, press down evenly through the lower back and release and let your head float down or your leg float down to the floor. Press your feet into the mat, roll over onto your side. Let your head hang down as you slowly walk your hands back to your body and come into a seated position. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're feeling wonderful, and I hope you can carry that feeling with you into your day, into your week, and into your life. Namaste.